I am a creative technologist and I experiment with everything from sound design to software and hardware design. And I work uh, with artists to realize crazy and, and interesting ideas. I grew up in a very musical family. My grandmother was actually a music teacher and my grandfather was an electrical engineer. So um, I got really interested and excited about putting those things together. I had about 35 computers in my room. I like to take them apart and tinker with them. I love to imagine something and then build it. I found one of Jacob's videos in uh, at the end of 2014, actually, and uh, just on a whim sent him a message. And then he replied, I've got a performance and I'd like to be able to make the videos uh, that I make for YouTube live in front of an audience. So, you know, do you have any ideas about technology we could build that would achieve that? We really approached his project from the perspective of giving him more limbs. If he had 17 arms, you know, he could play 17 instruments. We were thinking of the technology as sort of more like a bionic prosthesis. We want to give him superpowers. The first question we had was, you know, how can we do this without making the audience sit and wait for him to build up all of these layers over and over and over again? The first part of that we thought should be what's called a harmonizer. Jacob specifically wanted to be able to use his to um, layer up these really complex harmonies really quickly. We only had actually about 16 days to build it. There's a Windows computer that's completely sealed and, and passive running uh, in, in the box. And then uh, there's some custom analog hardware. So it was really the combination of the harmonizer and, and this looping system together that allowed us to pull off uh, his first world tour. I think it's really important to have the freedom to mess up and to experiment and to take risks. One idea that my advisor, Todd Macover, pioneered at the MIT Media Lab was this concept where you have a performer expressing themselves through more media than just the instruments. We talk about sort of wielding an entire performance venue, lighting and sound and robotics and set automation and scenics. It will happen that like everything in our lives will, will sort of become instrument-like. You know, I think IoT plays a huge role there. You know, in the morning, you might try to find a way to choreograph your lights and your alarm clock and your coffee maker and the window shades to create these special, you know, experiences. Technology presents an incredible new language with a huge potential for expression in new ways. The most important technologies going forward are going to be technologies that encourage us to be more ourselves. I would encourage everybody to build systems that help people celebrate who they are and how wonderful it is that we're all different.